the mind that you want. This talk is uh, about the uh, CXU, the global solar panels for a complete mission for a customer in, in Italy, a company called Algotec, and the mission is called um, Algo. My name is Isla Sanchez. <coughs> uh, let me talk about this presentation. Um, we start um, with a short company presentation around our capabilities and our design and packaging process. In this special talk, we talked about the city vision for a deep space uh, mission, um, how the <coughs> special requirement for radiation and the environment and this mission and that's why by our company for the design. And finally, the design of the panels and the test plan um, of the manufacturing process in this kind of panels for this mission. This, 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 is, um, this is an analogy. It's a company very, very focused on square panels design. Um, we are designing panels from um, small satellites and cubesats as well on the panel and more complexity solutions about uh, deployables uh, panels, um, especially focus on geo missions. Uh, we are developing solutions right now for the space mission with uh, this kind of customers. Our company is uh, located in the South of Spain in Malaga. Uh, <coughs> Team group for the manufacturing panel for two submissions. Um, we have uh, roughly, roughly 120 square meters for develop uh, the manufacturing process um, and test. And the company um, was starting in 2015. Um, we are five years in the uh, space market, uh, as I say, in the design market. Um, the, um, the founders of the company are working in photovoltaics for international application since uh, 1995, especially in most of photovoltaics and silicon non photovoltaics. In this picture, you can see um, the solutions we have manufactured in the past uh, for most customers in the future market. For example, uh, we have developed uh, panels for uh, pocket tubes and uh, uh, satellites. Uh, they are really, really Really small, five by five centimeters uh, length satellites. Um, solution especially focus on CU, CU, U, um, well, you not showing in these uh, pictures, but they are our typical solutions for the user market. And some of uh, these solutions are flying right now, and another uh, panels uh, showing this picture are in the testing phase or they are only in the right models for a few submissions with our customers. This kind of panels is another kind of architecture, <coughs> what they call um, small sites. Um, you can see from the left to the right a different technology for the assembly of the solar cell and different sizes. For example, our first mission of flying from 2014 is the Unisac 6 uh, mission from an Italian company in Klaus in Rome. Um, they wanted a, a set of four panels, body mounted panels. Um, they were uh, manufactured in, in the early stage of this technology. Um, the feature in the middle is uh, for us is a, a big panel, a panel around 100 bats for a Leo mission. Um, the cells are mounted in a uh, Honeycomb substrate made of uh, carbon fiber laminates uh, composed in a, a sandwich, uh, a lightweight and um, strength uh, substrate. Um, this kind of solution, for example, is uh, an example of our, um, our, our capabilities to integrate an assembly designs made of uh, our customers. In this case, for example, this design is made uh, of uh, a special customer. And they send all the materials and all the designs, and we manufacture all the solutions in our team room. And even we have the capability to manufacture this kind of solar panels in a safe production. 
simply line driven by for example this kind of substrates is made of uh, monolithic aluminum substrates with uh, any special kind of equipment as hard analyzed or, or alonized for uh, space environment and protect from the corrosion of the on, on the atomic oxygen. Another capability is for the uh, space in, in our company is the solar cell capabilities. We are not uh, <coughs> We have no capabilities to manufacture the solar cell in itself, but we can develop processes for welding strings, insert connection, um, assembly different kind of interconnections in the, the solar cells. Um, mostly we receive the very solar cell and we can integrate different kind of connectors and see go bypass the other on the corner on the left, as we can see in the picture on the left. Um, finally, we can and develop uh, high cubes or pre cubes in our solar sun simulators to, to guarantee that our integration process of the cover glasses and the very connections in, in the very solar cells <coughs> are completely, completely Talking about the, this special uh, CCU Nobel Deployable Panels. Um, these uh, panels will be launched in the um, ECLS new uh, NASA launcher together with uh, another 15-6U CubeSat for a deep space mission. Um, in this uh, slide, we can see um, the mission profile or, or mission uh, important is steps and the forecast temperatures in different stages of, of the mission. This mission uh, basically consists in to launch a um, satellite to, to the moon in order to demonstrate capabilities for the Lago Moon mission with a robotic company. Um, finally, um, after receiving the requirements from our customers, um, we designed this solution. This is a solution consists in 18, 18 bytes. Um, <coughs> For the complete satellite, they divide into 40 watts in each wing, it means it consists in 20 watts uh, power. <coughs> um, the main um, challenges in, in this um, design is to include the, the panels in the stop position in less than 5 millimeters. It's a, a very, very high, strongly requirement for, for the dispenser and for our customer. But finally, we reach. Um, comply with the with this, this requirement, including all the mechanical parts, all the solar panels, um, all the electronics in the in the panels um, to get the deployment of the, of the panel. Um, with these requirements, um, we have special requirements uh, to close the uh, events, <coughs> hard relation requirements for electronic components, um, higher strongly um, requirements for mechanical test and simulation, shock, pure acoustic, and um, thermal vacuum chamber. The, the same phase, uh, normally um, in our company, and especially in this project, uh, starts uh, designing the mechanical components. And um, this solution consists especially in a hinge and uh, covered by um, commercial strings. Um, the, um, the release mechanism consists in a, a solution as thermal knife using a special resistor with a hard radiation resistance for the space mission. Continuing with the design phase, um, we model all the mechanical parts in the panels and especially the substrates. The substrate is made of uh, this is this is made of uh, polymer material. It's a composite material in the commercial market of this is. Um, we modeled all the all the parts with all the resolution, uh, finding uh, first mode around 140 Hz. Um, the results of the modeling and simulation of the kind of uh, mechanical parts is shown in this slide. And you can see the displacements uh, when we apply launch and uh, regression loads. Is, uh, is, only, uh, is highly, highly low, around 10.6 uh, meters of displacement in, in the 
fear is x y axis. Um, continuing with the, the design, we start the manufacturing phase and <coughs> manufacturing engineering models uh, to test if our uh, design uh, consideration are uh, good uh, design choices. Um, basically, the, the test plant, including this uh, solar panels, is a mechanical um, duration test uh, according to the NASA this level, uh, applying uh, single duration random surplus and resonance survey test in order to check if all the frequencies is according to the to respective frequencies in the, in the system. Um, in addition, we develop a test, uh, the gradient test, in uh, low and high temperatures around minus 20 degrees and plus 40 degrees, uh, testing the deployment uh, in these temperatures using an atmospheric. Uh, and low cost uh, chamber, thermal cycling chamber in a very pressure. <coughs> Another test important to this kind of panel is the T back test. Um, we develop a T back test for the flight models uh, after the, the engineering model phase testing according to the customer requirements. Um, we develop the deployment test inside the thermal vacuum chamber at minus 20 degrees and um, plus 40 degrees in order to check if the thermal mesh and all the electronic system are working well. <coughs> For this project, uh, we develop uh, uh, a kind of branch of our equipment uh, basically consists in air grids uh, supplying air uh, in four digs uh, below under under the panels. Um, this uh, air readings um, are applying force um, to avoid the degradation of the hinges and the cushions inside the hinges and in order to to make easier the displacement of the panels when are deploying and in their movement in, in ground in gravity. This uh, solution is completely designed by this technology. Um, this is an example but um, we have developed another uh, one super equipment for another uh, architectures uh, uh, for 3U panels or even 12U panels. <coughs> this is a short sequence uh, from the deployment, um, deployment phase in the panels. Uh, this is not a, a video, but you can see how the panels are sliding in a, with a low friction surface, a very flat surface. And the air bearings are helping to the panels to reach the final angle. In this case, 90 degrees for the first panel and 180 degrees for the second one. This is another important test in our facilities. It's uh, basically the, um, the electrical test of the panel. We can guarantee that the panels, after all the testing phase, is uh, giving. The product power. Um, we have developed a customized solar solar IBQ uh, IBQ simulator in our facility uses a, using a flash lamp um, according to the photovoltaic standard um, and electronics to acquire all the hidden and voltage data for different kind of uh, panels and different um, powers that, that the panels can can give us. This is another um, requirement for from our customer. This is a vibra acoustic um, test. It's not typical this test in, in the QSAC market, but in this case, our customer required uh, this test and we develop this test in the University Polytechnic University of Madrid in Spain, developing um, a kind of chamber for um, applying acoustic, uh, acoustic energy. To the panels simulation simulate simulating the the, um, the launch environment for this new ICS launcher to go NASA. Okay, to end in my presentation, our conclusion is PSP technology are very focused on use and market and manufacturing designing and testing uh, solar panels. Um, 
our our solution uh, always is fully customized. We we have and we can uh, develop a standard production uh, for the customer. We require uh, serial production or constellations. Um, the, uh, our, our team is very, very focused in mechanical and electronic design. Um, always we develop uh, in model elements and mechanical simulation as a extended recommendation in our, our experience, our trajectory in the Houston space market delivery solar panels to our customers. That's everything from our side. Thanks for your attention. Congratulations for the uh, event. Um, questions? How do you do the traceability of your solar cells? Yeah, the solar cells, we, we normally own solar cells from our standard providers. These providers are completely qualified. Providers, but all the solar cells are measured in our solar simulator in our facilities before the integration of the panels. And after each test on the panels, we measure the power of the panel in order to guarantee if the power is keeping across all the testing phase. Do you actually trace each wafer? No, no, we, we, we trace the the part numbers that the manufacturer delivering us, okay? And when we we manufacture a panel, we know perfectly what part number of each cells are molded. What about acceleration? Do you do any acceleration test? Sorry, I said acceleration test. Normally, we develop acceleration tests in simulations, not in the real hardware, but we are thinking and developing systems to, to perform tests taking into account acceleration in movements, movements in orbit or even move, movements in, in launch flow. Any other questions? Well, it's related to the previous one. Uh, so your solar cell provider uh, characterizes uh, uh, the efficiency of the cells uh, for the full spectrum of the light and uh, for all temperatures that we need in the space, and we can provide a qualification report to the customer. Yeah, no, no, normally qualified as solar cell according to a full spectrum uh, soft light is very expensive. Uh, we know laboratories we can do that. Um, uh, our our main uh, our, our main investigations are according to a full spectrum solar simulator, but in our production environment, we only use uh, uh, standard uh, flashlights with uh, uh, roughly the spectrum under the atmosphere, and it, then that's, that, that's enough to characterize the current and power of the solar cells. And we can see that efficiency is almost the same that we can do the test, this test in a full spectrum sort of light. And regarding the the qualification reports in, in terms of solar cells, excuse me, in terms of solar cells includes uh, uh, altitudes because the, the solar cells we are uh, purchasing to our providers is completely qualified according to uh, well known standards in our space. Any final questions?